What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and the public beta of iOS 14 was just recently released, so that means that a lot of new people are going to be updating without really thinking twice about the bugs or the potential downsides of a beta software. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to safely downgrade from iOS 14 back down to the latest version of iOS 13. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you the method where you do not lose any data. So you will still have all your pictures, you'll have all your notes, all your text messages, all your contacts, everything will be retained following this tutorial. Now, of course, the reason you may want to do this is because iOS 14 is still in its early beta stages. So there are gonna be applications that don't work. You might have battery drain issues. Your phone may just lag in general. You may be facing the storage bug where you know iOS 14 takes up a bunch of your storage. And there are just a lot of things that could potentially go wrong in the iOS 14 beta. So maybe you updated, you know, you got to check out the new features, you were curious about them, but now you want to go back to a stable version of iOS 13 where everything was nice and smooth. So here's how to do that, of course, without losing any data. So the first thing you guys wanna do is plug your phone into the computer. You do need a computer for this method. It can be a Mac or Windows, it does not matter. You just need to have a computer. All right, so my phone is now plugged into the computer and you should see this prompt right here if you have not plugged it into the computer recently. It will say, trust this computer. Make sure you trust that and enter in your passcode. So once your phone is connected and you've already trusted it, go ahead and set it to the side. And now we're going to go to our computer and go to ipsw.me. This is where we're gonna go to download the latest version of iOS 13, the ipsw file, which is the restore file that we're gonna be using to restore back and revert back to iOS 13. All right, so once you get to ipsw.me, you wanna click on iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, whatever device you have. I'm using the new iPhone SE, so I'm gonna go here, and then here is where you select your device. So of course, I have the iPhone SE 2020, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see right here in green is going to be the latest version of iOS 13. As of the time of recording this, it's 13.5.1, but it should be iOS 13.6 very soon. But whatever the case is, just go ahead and click on the one with the green check mark right here. Just go ahead and click on it, and you will see this page right here. It'll show the file size, the file name, and all that. Go ahead and click on the blue download button and wait for the download to finish. And while you're waiting on this download, I want you guys to do a couple of backups. So the first one is going to be on device using iCloud. So just go into your settings, go up here and click on your name, then go to iCloud, scroll all the way down to iCloud backup. And I want you guys to make a backup right now, at least have the backup from today. So you can see mine right here was from about 20 minutes ago, so I don't really need to do another backup. But if yours is not from today, go ahead and do an iCloud backup. Then you wanna go ahead and set your phone while it's still plugged in, set it up to the side, and then go back to the computer. And then you wanna open up iTunes or Finder, depending on if you're on Mac or PC. I am on an older version of Mac OS right now, so I still have iTunes on this version of Mac OS, but you just need to get to wherever you can see all of this information right here, where it shows you know your device information, where you can back it up manually and things like that. So now you want to go to manually back up and go ahead and click on back up now. This will make a backup to the computer. Then you will also get the option to encrypt or not encrypt your backup file. So I'm going to do not encrypt, but you can choose if you want to encrypt it right there and then wait for your device to back up. This could take a good amount of time depending on how much data you have on your device. I don't have too much, so it shouldn't take too long but this can take up to 30 minutes. And once again, it is very wise to have both an iCloud and a computer backup, but for this method, technically you only need the computer backup, but it is still highly recommended to have an iCloud backup as well. So again, make sure you do have that. Now also, while you're waiting on your device to backup, I want you guys to go into settings right here and then go back to your name right here then go to find my, and then go to where it says find my iPhone, and tap on that and disable find my iPhone. And then you will have to put in your passcode for your Apple ID. And there we go, we have find my iPhone disabled, which is a necessary step. So now we're gonna go back to the home screen and keep our phone plugged in and wait for the backup to finish on the computer. All right, so the backup has finished and you will see under latest backups, it says today. Make sure it does say today under your latest backup. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and restore our iPhone back to iOS 13. So if you're on a Mac, you're gonna want to hold on the option key and then press restore. And if you're on Windows, just press shift and restore at the same time. Then you wanna locate the IPSW file. As you can see, mine is right here. Make sure you have the right IPSW file. Otherwise, this of course will not work. 
Once you have that selected, just go and click on open. It says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 13.5.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Click restore and then your phone should turn black and go through the restore process and I'll be back with the setup screen once this finishes. All right, so once your phone gets back to the start of the setup process, we're just going to go ahead and go through this. And by the way, on your computer, you can just go ahead and do setup as new iPhone. Make sure your phone is plugged in throughout this whole setup process as well because you're just going to have to plug it in afterwards anyway. So you may as well just leave it plugged in. So we're going to go ahead and go through this setup process right here. All right, and then you will get to this page right here where it says apps and data, restore from iCloud backup, restore from Mac or PC, or just don't transfer apps and data. We're just going to do don't transfer for the time being. And then we're just going to try to get through this as fast as possible. So we're not even going to set up the Apple ID or anything. Let's just go ahead and get to the home screen. All right. And now we are back on iOS 13. And just to confirm, we go into settings, general about, you can see we are on iOS 13.5.1. But of course, you'll notice right away that we do not have any of our data. So we need to go ahead and restore from that backup that we made just before going back to iOS 13. So now we need to go back to our computer. So now you should see your phone on the computer and it should say you're on the latest version of iOS 13. Now, the reason we did not restore from our iCloud or our iTunes backup initially, and the reason we have you know a blank iPhone here with no data on it is because Apple actually does not want you to downgrade. They don't want you to do that. So they have a measure put in place where you're not able to restore from a higher versions backup. So because we made a backup on iOS 14, we're not able to restore from the backup on iOS iOS 13 since iOS 14 is a higher version. So to bypass that, we need to make some manual adjustments in the backup file. So what you want to do is go to your finder and then go up to the top and go to go and then go to folder. And then you want to go to this directory right here, library slash application support slash mobile sync slash backup and click on go. Now, if you're on a Windows computer, I will have that exact directory down in the description below. You can also just go ahead and right click on the latest backup if you are on a newer version of Mac OS and you do it through the finder, you can just right click and do show in finder, but you can also do it this way as well. So then you should see your backup. It should be the one that's the last modified. So you can see here, there's only one that's been modified since June. So this is the backup here for this 2020 iPhone SE. We're going to go ahead and go into that folder then go all the way down to the bottom until you see info.plist, right click on that. And you're going to want to open it with a text editor. You can open it with something like Adam or just text edit. Text edit should work fine. Then you want to search through the info.plist file for the product version. And as you can see, there is a lot of text right here. So what you want to do is just go ahead and search for it. So I'm going to do command F on the Mac, but of course it will be shift F on windows. Then you want to search for product. And then you will see three things pop up. So we have product name, product type, and product version. So product version is what we want to change. So you can see between the two strings right here, we have 14.0. You want to erase the four and replace it with a three. So it says that the product version is 13. 0. And then go ahead and X out of that. So now we're going to go ahead and restore from that modified backup. So in iTunes or Finder, you will see where it says restore backup. Just go ahead and click on that. And then you just want to make sure that you are selecting the right restore file. So it should say, you know, the last backup time today at 428. It should probably be your only one. Go ahead and click on restore. And if you get this prompt right here where it says that a more recent backup is available, you don't want to do that. Just use the older backup because that is the modified backup. And then it will start restoring the data on your iPhone. Once again, your iPhone will say this right here. It says restore in progress and it should not take too long, but of course it will depend on how big of a size that backup file is. All right. So after the restore has finished, you will be brought back to the initial setup screen and it will say restore completed. Click on continue. And now we should just be able to go through this and you will see you have all your data still intact. I'm just going to go ahead and speed through this so we can get back to the home screen so you can see that we do have everything that we had beforehand. And there we go. You can go ahead and see that we have all of our applications installing right now and we will have all of our text messages and everything that we had previously on iOS 14 now back on iOS 13. And then you can go ahead and download all the applications you had previously and you may need to sign in once again after the restore process. So there you have it guys. That is how you can downgrade from iOS 14 beta down to a stable version of iOS 13 without losing any of your data. Now if you guys run into any issues at all or if something isn't working for you, make sure to check the description down below first and then if I don't 
don't address it in the description, just leave a comment and I will do my best to try to help you out. Other people in the community will also try to chime in and help you out if you have an issue. But everything should be pretty smooth sailing. It's a pretty simple process and it's pretty much the same process every single year. But anyways, guys, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did and if you're back to iOS 13, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for a lot more tutorials just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.